seven tips to get pregnant in this 2024. Who wants to get pregnant? Who wants to carry belly? If you know you want to carry belly, this video is for you. Like, share, follow, subscribe, drop your prayer request in the comment section and God will definitely answer you this year. Now, if you are a woman trying to conceive, I'm going to be giving you seven tips that will help you to achieve pregnancy um, easier, faster, and successfully. But before we do that, let me put a disclaimer or remind you that I am not a medical practitioner. I am not an expert. I don't claim to be one. I am a researcher. I study and I created all this platform to educate, inform, sanitize, enlighten women that are trying to conceive. So if you need help, recommendation, please endeavor to contact your healthcare provider. Content is just for general information only and must not be used as a basic for patient treatment. If you feel concerned about your health, fertility, endeavor to contact your doctor, your healthcare provider. So let's get into this video. What are those things? What are those things that need to be done? Oh, I am trying to become pregnant. I have been trying to become pregnant. It's not working. What should I do? Where should I go? How should I start? Oh yeah, sit down. Listen, about this in all my videos, but people do not take me serious. Now I'm going to repeat it again. The number one is that you should get a preconceptional checkup. I'm going to explain to you what this is. Preconceptional checkup means that you should go to your gynecologist. They can be a man or women. They call them female doctors. You go to them and when you go there, tell them that you are trying to become pregnant or you want to become pregnant. The reason why you should tell them this is this. They will know the kind of test they are going to conduct on you. Everybody can go for a checkup. When you go and you didn't tell them that you want to become pregnant, they will just conduct normal checkup on you. But if you tell them, oh, I have been trying to get pregnant, it's not happening, or I want to become pregnant, they will know where they are going to look. For example, they will check your cervix, they will check your ovaries, they will check if you have infection. Sometimes they may check your hormones. So if there is anything that needs to be addressed, they will do it. And also, when you go to your doctor, ask your doctor about prenatal vitamins that have folic acid, which help to protect against some defects, such as spinal bifida. Folic acid works during the early stage of pregnancy. So when you go, but normally, if you tell them that you want to become pregnant, they will, you know, prescribe prenatal vitamins for you. Another one or another thing you need to know or do is that you should know your circle. A lot of you following me or watching this video right now, you do not know your circle. All you know is that you want to become pregnant by all means. Well, pregnancy can happen miraculously, but sometimes you need to put in your effort. So if you are watching me, you don't know your circle, I will say that you have not started because knowing your circle will help you to achieve pregnancy easy. While if you know your circle, you'll be able to know when you are in your fertile windows, when uh, conception is about to take place or when you are about to release an egg. So if you don't know your circle, go to Facebook. There are many videos and that the fertility experts have made even in my page also i think i have done such video watch it go to google search in the use your phone to learn the next one is don't worry about the best position for getting pregnant a lot of people make this mistake they believe that they can do it like this before pregnancy will happen pregnancy doesn't need those process what you need to do is do the need for go for a fertility checkup ask your husband to also go for sperm analysis 
Eat healthy diet. Don't even if you stand up and jollificate, whether you any small thing, as long as oh God is still enter there, you go carry belly. So forget about the positions when people will tell you do monkey style, do this, do this. All those things play no role in your opportunity to become pregnant. So another one is after jollification, you should stay in your bed for at least 30 to 45 minutes before you stand up when you guys jollificate finish please do not stand up immediately this is the one you need to do now no be the position matters after jollification do not stand up immediately stay there for about 30 that's why if you want to wee wee before you people jollificate go and wee wee so that after jollification, you will relax. Allow the this thing to go up. Don't stand up immediately. Another one is don't overdo it. Some people think baby dancing, jollificating every day will give them the opportunity to become pregnant. The only days that you should jollificate is during your fertile windows. You see why you should know your circle? So in your fertile, so in your fertile windows, you can jollificate every other day. This will give you the highest chances of becoming pregnant. Another one is you should distress any way you can. Anything that is making you to be stressful, that is causing you stress, find a way to stop them or to manage them. The next but not the least is live a healthy lifestyle living a healthy lifestyle includes eating healthy meal exercising exercise we are talking about here is not street not exercise mind exercise do meditation make sure that your overall health is in good condition make sure that your hormones are balanced so that you will not experience difficulties in trying to become pregnant. I hope you find this video useful. I believe you learned something from this video. If you do, follow us, share, recommend, review, like this page, and tell your friends about this page. I am I am going to put another disclaimer that myself, Tochi, I am not a medical practitioner or an expert. I am a researcher who studies and impart knowledge. Thank you so much until I see you again in my next video.